Psalm 147, 3. He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Psalm 6, 2 Have mercy on me, Yahweh, for I am faint. Yahweh, heal me, for my bones are troubled. Psalm 23, 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 32 Yahweh, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. Psalm 30, 10 through 11. Hear Yahweh and have mercy on me. Yahweh, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me. You have removed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Psalm 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry, and Yahweh hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves those who have a crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivers him out of them all. Psalm 41.3 Yahweh will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. Psalm 41, 4. I said, Yahweh, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart fails, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 103, 2-4 Praise Yahweh, my soul, and don't forget all his benefits, who forgives all your sins, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Psalm 107, 19 through 20. Then they cry to Yahweh in their trouble. He saves them out of their distresses. He sends his word and heals them and delivers them 
from their graves. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. My son, attend to my words. Turn your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to their whole body. Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart makes good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. For everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Isaiah 38, 16-17 through 17. Lord, men live by these things and my spirit finds life in all of them. You restore me and cause me to live. Behold, for peace I had great anguish, but you have, in love for my soul, delivered it from the pit of corruption. For you have cast all my sins behind your back. Isaiah 40, 29 He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Isaiah 41, 10 Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 53 4 through 5. Surely he has borne our sickness and carried our suffering. Yet we considered him plagued, struck by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced 
for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Yahweh, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health to you and I will heal you of your wounds. Jeremiah 33, 6 Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. Matthew 9.35 Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and every sickness. Matthew 10.1 Jesus called to himself his twelve disciples, and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every sickness. Matthew 10, 8 Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. Freely you received, so freely give. Matthew 11, 28-30 Come to me, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mark 5:34 He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be cured of your disease. Acts 9, 33-34 There he found a certain man named Aeneas, who had been bedridden for eight years because he was paralyzed. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. Immediately, he arose. Philippians 4, 19 My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. James 5, 16 Confess your offenses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The insistent prayer of a righteous person is powerfully effective.
James 5, 14 through 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the assembly and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal him who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. First Peter 2, 24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live to righteousness. You were healed by his wounds. Revelation 21, 4 He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Neither will there be mourning or crying or pain anymore. Third John 2 John 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be healthy even as your soul prospers.